Sakura is a sort of religion here in Japan. Every spring, locals and tourists gather in the parks to observe the sakura blossom. And this is what the rave is all about. <laughs> Sakura blossom, the symbol of spring in Japan. And the reason why 2 million people rush to Japan every year, spending 2 billion US dollars in the process. The blooming only lasts a week, but I'm sure Sakura has been popping everywhere on your YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. So stick around because in this video, we're going to explore why it became such a cultural phenomenon. I've seen cherries blossom before, but I never thought it was a big deal before coming here. Everybody is super excited and I can't wait to look. In this highly technological country, you can also use your PASMO or the, your IC card to enter the uh, gates of the park. The entrance is 500 yen, so instead of standing in line and waiting to buy your ticket, you can just put your phone or IC card and pass right through. What's the best spot to see Sakura in Tokyo, you might ask? Well, that's a highly debatable topic, but if you want my personal opinion, that's Shinjuku Park for a couple of reasons. First, the park is gigantic. It has over 1,000 cherry blossom trees, which means uh, if there's a crowd near one Sakura, you can go to the next one and take a picture as good as the previous one. It also has a rich history. The park was once a private garden for a wealthy samurai family, but in 1949 it was eventually open to the public, so you and I can also enjoy it. Finally, to enter the park, there is a small admission fee of 500 yen, but this means that there are fewer tourists compared to the parks that are free. Did you know that there are over 200 varieties? And while the blooming season lasts from late March to early April, not all trees bloom at the same time. If you're planning to visit during the Sakura Festival, be sure to check the blooming schedule ahead of time to avoid any disappointment. I never knew that there were actually so many cherry varieties. So here, for example, we have cherry blossom, shidari, zakura, then yoko, then choshuhi, zakura. Well, like I cannot even read the names. And every one of them is situated in a different part of the park and it has the flower season when it starts blooming, the best season when it's in full bloom, and then scattered flower when it sort of flowers away. Besides just admiring the cherry blossoms and taking lots of pictures, there's a really nice ritual or tradition here in Japan. It's called Hanami. So you can see that there are a couple of people around me sitting on the grass, just enjoying, you know, some dessert, some food, some drinks. By the way, alcoholic drinks are prohibited to be drank in the park, but everything else is fair game. So you would usually gather with your family or with your friends in the park and sit under a blooming sakura tree. I think it's a really nice tradition that makes quite a trivial occasion like sakura blooming into such a special event. We decided to try this hanami thing for ourselves and I can tell you it is very relaxing. Just don't forget to bring something to put down because we basically sat on our clothes. It's not a hanami, it's an improvisami. We just got some drinks from the vending machine but there's also a Starbucks in the park although the lines during a cherry blossom festival are pretty long. Hanami literally translates to flower viewing and dates back to the Edo period when the Japanese elite used to have this lavish cherry blossom viewing parties. Nowadays you can see people enjoying a picnic, taking photos and admiring the scenery. However, Hanami isn't just about the beauty of the sakura trees. It's also a time for reflection on the fleeting nature of life. The short-lived beauty of the cherry blossoms reminds Japanese people of how precious life is and encourages them to live in the present moment. A lesson I think that we should all learn.
Sakura is also associated with samurai culture in Japan. The samurai warriors were known for their discipline, strength, and courage. And the cherry blossom was seen as a symbol of the samurai's way of life. Just as the cherry blossom falls from the tree at the peak of its beauty, the samurai was ready to die for their honor and beliefs. Just to tell you how unpredictable sakura blooming is, so today is a super sunny day, super hot. It's going to be 23 degrees Celsius. But uh, you see tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, when it's supposed to be the full bloom, it's all rainy. And I'm pretty sure that people who are planning to do that during the weekend, especially tourists who came here specifically for the full bloom, are going to be very disappointed. This is just one of those things uh, has to do with nature, like you cannot control it. We were very lucky this year uh, to have gotten right at the correct time. Now, let's get into some practical tips for enjoying a cherry blossom festival, perhaps in Shinjuku Park. First of all, if you're planning to come, you must arrive early to secure a spot. It's a popular activity and spaces fill up quickly. Even if you don't want to do Hanami, believe me, you don't want to arrive when everybody else arrives. Secondly, bring a picnic blanket and some food or drinks, but please, for the love of God, do not think that you can get them inside of the park. The lines to get food or drinks are sometimes 30 minutes here. So go to a convenience store and buy some traditional Japanese snacks and drinks. Uh, trust me, this is the most important tip. Please remember it. Finally, don't forget to bring a camera. The cherry blossom is an amazing opportunity to snap those photos. It's one of the most photogenic time of the year in Japan. If you're not too big into making your own photos, you can book a photo session. I've seen a couple of people do it, and I think the pictures are just going to turn up amazing. And last and final tip is to have fun. Do not fuss too much about it. Believe me, there is a cherry tree for everybody. It's 2.14 uh, p.m. We just left the park. We spent around three hours and a half. So trust me, there are a lot of things that you can do in the park, but look at the line behind me. There are hundreds of people staying there. I honestly don't know what the waiting time is, but this is impressive and it goes all the way there. So <laughs> if you want to visit it, uh, one of the big park, this is the Shinjuku Park uh, for the Sakura Blooming Festival, go at around 9 a.m. or maybe 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. at the most, because otherwise it will get super crazy. So there you have it, friends, some insider tips about the Cherry Blossom Festival in Shinjuku Park. I hope this helps you plan your trip to Japan, or if you're not planning to go to Japan yet, appreciate the beauty of the cherry blossoms in your own country. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.